What's going on guys, it's Mac Mallard here, back with some more Trophy Hunter 2003 Rocky Mountain Adventures. So, um, last time we got a couple of animals and we had some bugs to work out, uh, so hopefully they're all fixed, and uh, if you don't mind I'm going to go ahead and turn it up just a bit for the time being. Um, as you can see we got a guy here, we don't have any points or anything, uh, well actually I'll turn it back down, just so you can make it a little bit easier to hear me. Uh, Looks pretty fly, got his hat curled up a little bit in the back, I like it, I like it. So we've killed three animals with a rifle, so every time you kill an animal you get five points for the weapon skill. So uh, yeah, uh, last time we hunted at this place, Southern Alberta, uh, Black Bear, Moose, Wolf, and Elk. But this time I think we're going to mix it up and come up here. Uh, this is like, this is probably the one of the, my favorite uh, maps on here. You can kill a grizzly bear, a moose. Uh, either sex, so male or female. Um, one of the only maps on here that allows you to kill female moose. Uh, two wolves and two caribou. And of course, the grizzly bear and the moose are dangerous animals. So, we gotta be careful about that. But, uh, yeah, everything was good. Let's go ahead and move along here. So, in between last time and this time, um, I went to the store. I bought two bows. Um, a, rig, a compound bow and a crossbow so we can try those out and I bought another rifle but uh, I think we're just for now we're gonna stick with the old single shot cuz uh, I like it a lot so uh, it doesn't really matter let's uh, let's jump in there alright so first starting off in a map always look around you to make sure there's nothing right there sitting you get a nice easy shot and I have no idea what direction we're heading, so we're just going to go this way. Uh, excuse me, get a drink of water real quick. So yeah, our guy has to be some kind of chronic chain smoker, pneumonia, out of shape, obese dude in the world. Because he can't run more than 15 feet without having to take a walk slow down but that'll improve the more we hunt so uh yeah we got to keep on hunting keep on going use a little bit more of this just you know for the hell of it why not now there's not really any strategy to this game besides uh just kind of walking around seeing what's out there um you can get a set up a tree stand and call animals with uh scents and baits and calls of course but uh we don't have a tree stand right now so can't really do that uh we're just yeah we're just gonna have to run around until we kill one or two animals hopefully we'll have enough credits then to be able to buy one but uh yeah as i said in the last video uh if it gets too boring then i may just do like a jump cut until we get something interesting happening but i don't really want to do that too often because it'll just be you know five or six clips of me killing an animal it won't make for a very long video so try to figure out stuff to talk about and keep you guys entertained without it being too slow um, the same grass growing on the land also grows in the water interesting hmm very interesting yeah so uh, right there in the bottom of our screen you can see that we can kill uh, one brown bear, either male or female, one moose, male or female, two wolves, male or female, and two caribous, male or female. So we can get a total of six animals on this one map. Um, it's the most, I believe, that you can get of any map in terms of just quantity of animals. So let's see if we can't get, let's see if we can't fill up every bag limit in this episode. So, the uh, clock in the upper right hand corner is set so that one in-game minute equals one real minute in life. So we can track how long we've been playing. It's nice because I can track how long I've been recording without having to glance over at my clock and lose track of time. So yeah, that's good. But I think for right now, um, since nothing's happening quite yet, I'm going to go ahead and do a jump cut until we do get something cool happening. So... Yeah, I will see you guys in just a second. 
All right, guys, so it's been about three minutes. I've just been kind of walking around, calling. I uh, started calling for a bear not too long ago. And as you may have seen right there, we have a moose right in front of us. So one of the rules of this game is that you cannot kill an animal that is in the water. You will not get any credits for it, and you'll, um, you'll basically have to start over. So I really want to make sure that he's not in the water, so I'm going to kind of wait until I can be absolutely certain and I don't really want to move too much because okay so one of the things I know about this game is that he would never lay down in the water so we are good to go so let's go ahead and take him down let's go for a nice headshot uh, I can see our guy ooh he's creeping up on him man looks creepy but yeah Got a nice headshot there, dropped him in one kill, or dropped him in one shot, rather. So let's go see what we got. Use a little bit more scent blocker, just, you know, why not? Um, if it's a good-sized moose, then we're going to get a good amount of credits for that. So that's good. We can buy a tree stand, and then we can do a little bit more hunting, or a little bit more uh, complex hunting, I should say. So it looks like we nailed him right above the eye. Um, let's go ahead and see what we got. 1765 pound male moose 25 credits 25 credits 100 credits so you do get an extra 100 credits for um for having the dangerous animals tick on so that's always good and that is a plane so that is pretty much you can't do anything with it it's just put in the in the level to kind of give it a little bit of realism like how you actually got to this place um oh and it's raining but yeah, it's just kind of showing how you got to this place. Like you weren't just kind of dropped in the middle of nowhere. You actually have a, a plane. So that's always good. So we got one of our six animals that we can potentially get. So let's keep on trucking. Keep on seeing what we can do. And I think we may be getting to the edge of the map here soon. So if so, we'll just turn around, come back. Um, yeah, not a big deal. Let me get another sip of water real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, my mouth has just been really dry today because I woke up in the middle of the night last night. I wasn't feeling good. Um, I was nauseous. I got sick, so I think I'm kind of dehydrated. But uh, I'm here. It's it's uh, the next night, uh, about... 10 30 10 40 um just making videos for you guys on friday night Ooh, caribou okay so let's see if we can get him and it looks like we did and where there's one there are more and i'm not going to take a shot at him because he's way over there we probably won't even find him if we kill him so Wow, that happened pretty quick. So we got one caribou down. I do believe it's a male. Um, the bad thing about caribous is that the males. No, oh, that might be a. No, I think it's actually a female. Yeah, female. The females are a bit bigger than the males for whatever reason. Um, so the males have a more impressive set of antlers, but the females weigh a little bit more, so you get more credits. So it's kind of kind of a trade-off. But yeah, there are more caribou near because they always are in herds on this map. So we got to keep our eyes peeled for seeing some more. So just spray some scent stuff so they can't see us. Or they can't smell us, rather. And those dang bushes always... I always think that they're caribou horns just sticking up. They always fool me. But we're just going to kind of... Here, how about this? Creeping up on the caribou. Oh, creeping up in the bushes so they can't see us. Now that is freaky. Just imagine if you were like pulling up to your house in the middle of the night and you just saw your dude, sit, saw some dude sitting in your bushes like that with a gun. Oh, that would be scary. He'd be like, nah, man, I'm just hunting caribou. But we know what he's really doing. He's creeping up on the booty. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a little bit more water there. Um, yeah, so 
Uh, nice majestic bird in the sky. Uh, you can't kill those either, or else you'll get a hunting infraction, and you, you'll lose all the animals that you killed, and you won't be able to get credits for any animals that you kill after that until you exit out of the level and come back in. So that's not very good. I don't think we're going to do that today. Oh, you see that, guys? He just got a fish. He's got it in his talons. Hmm. Grabbing dinner, I guess. Everybody got to eat. Yes, yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and make a little jump cut till we get to the till we get to something cool. So, I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys. So, it's been a couple of minutes and I'm just walking around and that's right. It's a male caribou. So, I don't know exactly how far we are away. Shouldn't be too difficult of a shot though. So, uh just going to go ahead and take it down get a nice one shot there so an extra 25 credits for us uh, for a clean kill not too bad at all so see how big it is and uh, see how many credits we get and that'll be one half of the animals that we can potentially get that we have gotten so we still need the wolves, the wolves are the hardest things to find, in my opinion, on any of the maps. Um, so, we may or may not get those, uh, just depending. So, uh, 643 pound male caribou. So, I was very, very wrong about that. So, the males are substantially bigger than the females. Wow. Oh, well, though. Uh, I guess it worked out for the best. I would have been disappointed if it was the other way around. And I was, uh, I was right. Because, uh, because, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. But, uh, that's just how it goes. Uh, put a little bit more scent stuff on. Uh, it's kind of, kind of hard for me to tell how long I've been recording because of the jump cuts. I believe it's been about seven or eight minutes, though. So, uh, right around normal length, so... Just keep on wandering around, see if we see anything. Uh, actually, uh, use a bear call just while we're walking around, see if we can creep up on one. Uh, hopefully one doesn't creep up on us, cause we've got a we've got some got a good amount of uh of uh, trophies on us. I I actually believe that that may be one of the biggest moose I have ever killed on uh, any any of the times I've been playing this game um, there's a there's an item you can buy in the store called a spotting scope and depending on how much presence you have which you can upgrade with the points that you get um, it'll tell you when you point it at an animal it'll tell you what that animal is whether it's male or female and how much it weighs and how far it is away so you can it's really nice to be able to figure out uh, which if it's a herd of animals which one's the biggest and uh, which ones will, get, will give you the most credits so that is a squirrel running away uh, not on our not on our list of things that we can kill so we'll leave him or her be and just keep calling a bear so yeah I'm going to do another jump cut, and I'll see you guys when we have something cool. Okay, guys. So, I was just calling a bear, and he ran up to me, and I wasn't paying attention. And I was kind of sidestepping, and I turned, and there he was, and I thought he was going to take me down. I was so scared. My heart is going through my chest right now. I don't even care that I'm just shooting him in the butt. I'm just trying to get him down. Um, it's not going to be a clean kill, but hopefully, if we get him, if we... Uh, shoot him enough times and he will go down uh, hmm all right we're just gonna follow him keep on shooting when we've got a shot but yeah I was sitting there calling and we definitely hit him there's some blood so we can track him but yeah I was sitting there calling just kinda sidestepping there's actually a caribou over there that I was checking out uh, through the scope of my gun and I put the gun down and the bear was right there coming at me full speed and I actually I scre I actually like not screamed 
because that makes me sound really girly. But I like, I sharply inhaled and I was just like, <gasps> oh, it's, oh, it scared me so bad, guys. Because this moose that I have on me is really, is a really nice sized moose and I did not want to lose it. But fortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So, uh, there's another moose there. Uh, let's see if we can't track this thing down. And, uh, let's see. There's some more blood. Get out of here. And there it is, guys, sitting right there. Awesome. So, apparently the moose was pretty much unaffected by the bear just kind of keeling over right there. So, we hit him in the butt three or four times. Uh, I tried to shoot him in the shoulder. I did not do so successfully, it seems. Uh, oh, well, we still got him, so... Uh, pretty small brown bear, actually. Only 343 pounds. The caribou was bigger than that. But, uh, we got the points for a single-shot rifle, and we got the points for a dangerous animal. And that is bear feces. So, yeah, sometimes when you're just walking around, you'll see animal feces. That happens to be grizzly bear. Um, or no, actually, I believe that's moose. I believe... I think he laid that. Oh well. So we've got four out of the six animals. All is all is left next is the wolves. So I'm I'm gonna do another little jump cut here until I either uh, can't or can find them. So yeah, I will see you guys in another second. All right, guys, I'm back. So I haven't found anything uh, cool to show you guys. Um, I'm actually not feeling the best, and I'm getting a bit frustrated as well. Not frustrated because I can't find any animals. Um, frustrated because I can't walk for more than seven or eight seconds before I have to, or I can't run for more than seven or eight seconds before I have to walk again, which just makes uh, traveling around and trying to find these things that much more difficult. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, in in this map right here in the hunt um but one thing that i thought was really cool is i just want to take like five or ten seconds and just listen to the in-game sound effects so i'll just stand still for a second i'm i'm not sure if you guys can tell but uh you headphone users might be able to tell but i'm i'm wearing um now I'm not trying to make a statement or anything here, but I'm I'm using um, some Beats by Dre solo uh, headphones, and I can hear everything from the rain to like they have some subtle wind blowing in the background, and I just think that's really cool because it's very rare in these older games that you get that much attention to detail, but you do get it here. So yeah, uh, take a quick look around. Don't see anything. All right, let's go ahead and stop see what we got all right so there's our brown bear uh, 345 pounds there's our male caribou 643 pounds female was 151 pounds I weigh more than that thing Wow uh, and there's our big old moose 1765 pounds we got over all th over a thousand credits for it and it's the biggest moose that we've killed so far even though we've only killed two um yeah good deal uh we are still a tenderfoot however um oh well that's all right uh let's go ahead and just put up two or three or whatever uh it doesn't really matter uh, i just want hardiness to be pretty high because that's that's how much you can move without having to you know stop and take a break so with that guys i'm going to end the episode there thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy the video leave a like and uh, subscribe if you want to see future content um and yeah i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you next time